Callum, you're with us now until at least the summer of 2023. Congratulations on the new deal. You must be delighted. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, brilliant. Absolutely delighted, um, you know, to sign until 2023. Uh, it was pretty smooth, to be fair. Um, you know, the club gave me a call and I was desperate to get it done straight away. So I'm just happy it's done now and, you know, you can put that behind you and, and look forward to the rest of the season. I suppose when a deal is as smooth as this one, it's a reflection on just how much you're happy here and how much the manager's happy with you? Yeah, definitely. Um, like you say, it was it was a smooth um, transition. So, you know, Gaffer um, has been brilliant with me. Um, so, it was, you know, there was no question in my mind. I, I wanted to sign straight away and, and get it done. So, um, I've got to thank the club for that as well. It was, it was very seamless and um, obviously thank the manager as well. So, it was great. This deal will take you up to the age of 30, I believe. So, we're, we're getting you in the, the prime of your football life. Yeah, that's it. It's, uh, it's gone pretty quick already, to be fair. Um, you know, it wasn't that long ago you were coming in the door as, as a young kid. And as you say, this contract it runs until you're 30. So it's been an amazing time in my life to, to play for Celtic. You know, it's all I've ever known. And, and especially the last few years have been absolutely amazing. Yeah, you've been here long. I think I'm right in saying you've been here longer than any current Celtic player, including James Forrest. This place must be just like a second home to you. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I signed here as a, as a kid at nine year old. and. I'm still here, so I'm, I'm absolutely um, buzzing to, to extend that as well. And, and obviously, I've, I've spoken about it many times how, how much a, a part Celtic's played in my life. And, you know, that um, basically as a young man coming through, and, and uh, you know, I'm delighted to, to still be here. It's important for the, for the team and for the supporters to have that kind of stability at the core of the squad. And you, you're, you're now one of a, a long list of players who have. Who, who were on de deals but have committed their, their future to the club beyond that? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's been great. It's been a great time for the club, you know, very successful. And, and as you say, that's probably reflected on so many boys signing their, their futures. So um, it's a great place for the club to be. It's a great place for, for all the players. And, and I think you can see that in reflection with the, with the contracts. Because not only here do you get to play in front of the best fans and the best stadium, but, you know, you get to win trophies, you get to, you get to win medals as well. And you're already collecting a, a fair few of them. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, at Celtic, there's a, there's a massive demand to win, and coming through the system, you know, you've got to be a winner to, to be here, and, and you know, that's a massive part of it as well. You, you want to win things as a professional footballer, and Celtic's the, the best platform for that. People, people say that you know, Callum McGregor, up until fairly recently, maybe the last season, season and a half, has kind of been the most kind of underrated player at Celtic and you know the kind of unsung hero if you like do you really feel though like in the last 18 months or so you've really kind of stepped out of the shadows into that into that limelight yeah I think so I think you're right in saying that um, you know I think definitely since the managers come in you know my my game's improved an awful lot and you know due to the, the manager coming in changing a few things and you know I've got playing with confidence and, and as you say probably this last 18 months you've, you've really emerged as a as a big character so you know, I just want to keep doing that, keep learning every day, you know, and in terms of being in my prime, I want to keep learning and keep becoming a better player for this club. We've seen you play in a few different positions. The manager said that you're so versatile that he can move you around, but he wants another one of you to come in and fill in. I'm curious to know where you, where do you prefer to play? I think, to be fair, I think I prefer being more central. Um, you know, it's, it's okay doing sort of jobs for the team and, you know, on the, on the wing, or if you've got to go and play left back or whatever, but I think, um, Certainly for my strengths, I think being central to the game and you know getting getting the ball, building the game for us and, and getting it forward, then I think that sort of suits my qualities um, the best. Certainly, you are sending out a, a message that, 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 that this is where you think you can your career can advance to, to the next level. What would you say to the to the Celtic fans then who can who can see that? And are you basically saying to them, yeah, listen, the future's bright here? Yeah, definitely. I think um, that's the sort of statement of intent with the with the contract for the club, and, and certainly for me as well. You know, it's I've mentioned before, it's an amazing place to play football, and you know, as you say, these fans, you, you come to Celtic Park, and it's you know, it's one of the best arenas in, in world football, and to to actually get to play your football here every Saturday or every second Saturday, then it's uh, you know, it's an incredible place to play, and yeah, for them, it's it's just about me trying to be here for as long as I can and, and trying to give them some special moments. We'll look forward to seeing you around here for many more years to come, Callum. Well done. Thank you. Cheers.